Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this video, I'm gonna walk through using DynamoDB in an Amazon Alexa skill. So if you're creating a skill and you wanna save data to a backend, this is the, uh, the video that'll show you how to do that, at least with DynamoDB. I'm gonna be using a template from skilltemplates.com to, uh, um, to, to walk through the uh, example, and you can use all of the code that's available in the template if you wanna do that for your own skill or just to learn by going to skilltemplates.com and uh, signing up, or if you already have an account, you can log in there. If you're not familiar with skill templates, then you can just uh, check out the getting started. It's really just, the only thing you need is the Alexa Skills Kit CLI, and if you've got that all installed and configured, then you're good to go. If you don't, then you can use that getting started video here to, uh, to get all set up. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, jump in. Um, you, probably know about uh, DynamoDB if you're watching this video, but just in case, DynamoDB is no SQL uh, database service from AWS, Amazon Web Services. And I like it a lot for three reasons. First, it's, um, it's really easy to work with. And uh, second, it's super scalable. And lastly, it's extremely affordable. And um, in, in most cases for skills, you probably won't pay anything for it because there's a free tier that AWS offers that's uh, pretty generous. And um, yeah, uh, e e even if you get beyond the free tier, it's just super uh, inexpensive. So good option for building skills. So um, like I said, I'm using the Alexa skills kit. And so we're gonna start with uh, ask new and then template and then URL. And then here we're going to type the uh, URL to the skill templates feed. So it's skilltemplates.com slash templates dot json just like that and then when you do that it will pull a list of the templates that are available or at least the, the first 10 i think but the one that we're looking for is in here and it's this one here the dynamo db starter so you want to select that and that will create a directory named uh, dynamodb-starter-alexa, and that is the skill project. So all of the code is in there. So if you just uh, move into that folder, you can uh, start working with it. In with most of the skill templates from skilltemplates.com, you can just do like ask deploy after you download it, like this, and that will push it out to your Alexa developer console, uh, the web console, and then also to AWS uh, for the Lambda functions in the back end. In the, the case of this template, there is also another step though. You've got to set up the DynamoDB table and also permissions to uh, for the, the skill or the, the role that the skill uses to use that table. And I'll show you how to do that in, uh, in just a minute as this thing is pushing out here. I'll, I'll pause and then I'll come back. Okay, so now the, um, the skill is all deployed. Let's test it out and we'll, uh, we'll get an error that I will show you how to fix. So Alexa, I'm muted. Alexa, open DynamoDB starter. There was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, so that is expected. Like I said, there is uh, one other step with the skill here, which is um, you need to create a, a table, a DynamoDB table. So you want to log into your AWS console, your management console, and then uh, go to create table. And to get to this, you go to aws.amazon.com, log, uh, log in. And then um, under uh, the, uh, the menu here, you would find DynamoDB. I've been to it, so I can choose it, select it from my history there, and then create table. And the table name that you want to use for this, the default table name is Dynamo, um, what is it actually? I think it's Dynamo DB Starter. Let me confirm that though. So it's in the index, yeah. This, so this is the, the default table name that it's using. And you can change that if you want to, of course, but we'll go ahead and just use the, the one that we've got in here. And then the, uh, the primary key, there's actually um, two values that you need to set here. You need to set the uh, user ID, which is going to be the user ID that is uh, provided by the Alexa service. And then also, I think it's movie title. 
but I'm going to double check that. And I'll come back and talk about this code in a minute here also. Uh, yeah, movie title. So yeah, so you need uh, user ID and movie title. And those are both strings, so you can leave that like that. And then you just do create. And this usually happens pretty quickly, but it can take a, a, a minute or so before the table is done being created. And so while that's being created, there's also another step that we need to do. And that is give the permissions that are required to read and write to the DynamoDB table that we just created. And so we're gonna do that in uh, IAM. So you wanna go here and find IAM. And then in the uh, identity access and management area, you wanna go to roles. And then the Alexa skills kit CLI creates a role and the role that's created for this case here is this one here, the ask Lambda DynamoDB starter. Gosh, everything going off here. Okay, and what we wanna do here is we wanna attach a policy that's gonna provide this role with permission to read and write to that uh, table that we just created. And I'm gonna do that by just going here, attach permissions, and then if you just type uh, like filter for DynamoDB, and I'm gonna just provide full access. In a production skill, you, you don't need to do this and probably wouldn't wanna do this. You probably just wanna provide only the permissions that are absolutely necessary, but for this demo, that's gonna work. And so with the permissions and the table set up, I should be able to, uh, to test the skill now without any error. And the skill is pretty simple. What it does is it just lets us save a list of our favorite movies, remove movies and list movies. And all of that is for the most part being done by this one file here, this uh, DB helper JS. And you can see there's three functions in there. There's a add movie function, a get movie function, and then a remove movie function. And uh, it's it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, but let's test it out. Alexa, Open DynamoDB Starter. Hello there. What is your favorite movie? You can say add movie name to add your favorite movie or say list my movies to get your favorite movies. Add Star Wars. You have added movie Star Wars. You can say add to add another one or remove to remove movie. Add Empire Strikes Back. You have added movie Empire Strikes Back. You can say add to add another one or remove to remove movie. Alexa, stop. Okay, so now Hi. I've added two records, so we can go verify that by going over here uh, back in our AWS console and opening up our table, our DynamoDB starter table. And then if you go to items here, you'll see the records that were created. So you can see the Empire Strikes Back and the Star Wars records here. And then the user ID is what's used uh, to map the movie titles back to the user that's using the skill. And so let's, um, let's also test delete and list. And uh, if those are all working, then we'll, uh, we'll call it a demo uh, or a day, whatever. Uh, let's see, Alexa, open DynamoDB starter. Alexa, open DynamoDB starter. Hello there. What is your favorite movie? You can say add movie name to add your favorite movie or say list my movies to get your favorite movies. List my movies? Your movies are Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars. Delete Empire Strikes Back. What would you like to do? Remove Empire Strikes Back. You have removed movie with name Empire Strikes Back. You can add another one by saying add. Alexa, stop. So you can see um, by saying remove Empire Strikes Back, it removed that record. Could probably fix the, um, the uh, model and also add delete there. That's not in there, but that is, um, that is it for this demo. Hopefully that was helpful. Like I said, the code is available on skilltemplates.com and it's pretty straightforward. The really, this is the file that's doing all the work here, this uh, DB helper. And it gives you, again, an example of how to add 
to the database um, or the table rather, uh, get, you know, select, uh, and then also uh, delete or remove. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the, uh, the comment section and we'll respond just as quickly as possible. If you did like the video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.